everyone, we're back. I'm spinning. Again. Sorry. Today, we are just going to take a little bit of time and go over some of the tips that we've used in decluttering our lives. We'll start with the first one, which is hugging your items. I haven't hugged anything. So you hug your item, and if it brings you joy, you keep it. My stuff. You make me feel so wonderful. I think I'll keep you. If you feel nothing... I don't even think we'd have anything in our house if I did that. Right. Sabrina feels no joy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the next tip that we have is one of Sabrina's favorites, so I'll let her talk about that. So one of them is for your just-in-case items, the 2020 rule, and I got this from The Minimalists. I read their books and I listened to their podcasts, and I got this from them, that if you have all these items in like a junk drawer and that type of thing, that you don't really know what half of them are, what you do with them, but they all just sit there and just kind of clutter up your life. One thing you can do when you're thinking about getting rid of them as far as donating them or throwing them out is thinking of, is it something that I can get and replace if I do need it down the line within 20 minutes for under $20. And if it's something along those lines that you can do those two things, then we safely get rid of it. Good example of that is that I bought a spray can of white paint for my truck. I used it one time and it sat on a shelf for two years. It was $3. And uh, I just got rid of it just recently because I was like, I can go out and buy, if I really need another can of white paint, I'll just go out and buy it. It's $3 instead of it just taking up space. You know, it's just one item, but when you have several items like that, it, it can really collect for something that you can easily just run out and grab in under, like Sabrina said, under 20 minutes. Definitely. One of the other things was converting things that are in your physical space to digital items, such as we had end tables, coffee tables, other flat surfaces with photo frames on them, just several photo frames. You'd look over at the end table, you're like, gosh, there's so much table. And one of the things I thought of, and I've heard other people mention, is that you can convert all these things to digital. So what we ended up doing was we ended up getting a digital photo frame, and yes, it costs money. We ended up getting a digital photo frame, and we scanned all our pictures that are on our end tables, our desks, our walls, and we put them in this digital photo frame so that it ends up being just a nice little neat one photo frame on the desk scrolling through thousands of pictures and the great thing about it is i feel like we pay attention to the pictures definitely pay more attention to them before the frames were honestly gathering dust and you weren't even sure what was quite under the dust but now you actually look at them and you're like oh i remember that time and you get to see a lot more because it does it holds thousands and thousands yeah. of photos so it's not just your everyday six photos seven photos that you're looking at every day now, now you get to see thousands of them. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's a great backup storage thing because say, God forbid, people who are in house fires and you lose everything, if you have something saved to a cloud or a digital media, if it's in the cloud, it's safe. Obviously, if it's in an SD card in the back of the frame, it's going to burn too. But if it's in the cloud and you back these up on the cloud, then it's actually safer than having a pile of frames in your house anyway. Another thing is to help stay focused, just take one room at a time or one section of your house or home at a time, even just a table or a coffee table at a time, and you just focus on that and you get it to the point that you're happy with and then you move on to the next thing. You know, don't look don't look at the, the big picture. Look at it, you know, take one little step at a time, one one area at a time. It, right, helps. Right. it helps keep you motivated. It makes it more manageable if you do that. Yeah. There's no set time limit. You don't have to be done in three months, two months, or even a year. It could it could be a it could be a lifelong process. Sure it is. Sure it is. <laughs> Journey. You don't like the word. I don't like the word journey. I don't, I, don't know. I don't feel like we're going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Another uh, great tip that I, I thought was a pretty good idea that Sabrina told me was to tape over a drawer and mark the date on that tape with the drawer, like a junk drawer. And you mark, you know, put some painter's tape over it and you mark on the tape the date. And if you notice that the tape has been broken or removed, Meaning that you know you never need it to go in that drawer for anything within you set whatever time you want a month to six months whatever you know if it's been a month and nobody's gone in that drawer for anything most likely whatever's in that drawer you don't need maybe a month is a low uh, tight but you know do do four months if nobody's gone in there in four months most likely whatever's in that drawer can. 
be donated. You're, you're not using it. The other thing is you probably don't even remember what's in that drawer. So I would recommend not opening it and just getting rid of it. Because what happens when you open something, when you're staring at items, it's a lot harder to get rid of them when you're like, oh, maybe I'll need... Well, you know what? Uh, uh. So I think it's just easier if the drawer's already taped, just get rid of it rather than going through it. How do you get rid of the stuff without opening it? You just keep the drawer taped, Tupperware container. Oh, well, maybe something like that. Or I thought you knew some type of magic. <laughs> I think that's it. All right. Well, hope it helps. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and ask below. We'll get back to you. We read all your comments and Kenny responds. Yeah, and then, you know, and in the comments, if you guys would like to see something that maybe we skipped over or maybe just quickly went over, you know, ask it in the comments. If it's uh, vlog worthy, maybe we'll make a whole vlog around it. That'd be great. Yeah, you know, yeah, that'd help. That'll help us out too, coming up with ideas of, of what you would like to see every, every week from us. So that's it. All right, subscribe below if you enjoyed these videos. What?